Hey guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the new Phonak Naida Lumity PR and UP behind the ear hearing aids. Coming up. In my professional opinion, the Audeo line of hearing aids on the Lumity platform are some of the best hearing aids on the planet right now. So it only made sense for Phonak to expand the Lumity platform to include the Naida behind the ear hearing aids as well. Now, if you're someone with a severe to profound level of hearing loss, then you're probably already familiar with the Naida line of devices. Well, Phonak recently released their new Naida Lumity behind the ear power rechargeable hearing aid, as well as their ultra power hearing aid that uses a 675 battery. All right, let me go Go ahead and show you what both of these look like as I wear them. So I'm first going to put on the Naida Lumity PR hearing aid. And this, of course, is the smaller of the two. It does have a rechargeable battery inside of it. Let me take that one out and actually put in the ultra power hearing aid. Now, this one is going to be, of course, your larger hearing aid. It does use that 675 battery, and it is intended for individuals with a severe to profound level of hearing loss. So you need a lot of power when you have that severity of loss. You can see that it's bigger than the PR, but it looks sleek as well, which is really nice. All right. Now that you have an idea of what these guys look like as I'm wearing them, let's start by talking about the Naida Lumity PR devices. Now these are the rechargeable version, like I mentioned a minute ago, and you will get it all day's worth of battery life on a single three hour charge. Keep in mind that if you do a lot of streaming from your smartphone or your tablet, it will actually reduce this battery life throughout the course of the day, and you may have to pop it back in the charger depending on how much streaming you actually do. Fortunately, just 15 minutes in the charger can get you about three hours of additional battery life. Now, when it comes to the actual charger itself, it does not have an internal power bank, but you can purchase a power pack that plugs onto the bottom of this particular charger so it can store several extra charges for you so you can take it on the go. Otherwise, you could always purchase an aftermarket battery pack on Amazon and use that instead. When it comes to the ultra power version of the Naida Lumity hearing aids, these use a 675 battery, which is the the largest battery option that you have available to you. And it will get you anywhere from one to three weeks worth of battery life. You'll probably end up settling somewhere in the one to two week range, depending on how severe your hearing loss is. Of course, this battery will also die quicker if you do a lot of streaming, just like you had with the rechargeable version of the Naida Lumity. I will say that for individuals with a severe to profound level of hearing loss, there is some level of comfort that you get by just being able to exchange a disposable battery rather than having to take take out your hearing aids and put them back in the charger for a period of time. Now, as much as I would love to say that the Naida Lumities are substantially better than the Naida Paradise, they're not really that much better. They do have some nice additional features though. But first, let's cover some of the basics of the Naida Lumity hearing aids. Both of these devices are IP68 rated, which means that they are very resistant to debris and moisture. So you don't have to worry a whole lot about getting them dirty and you don't have to worry a whole lot about getting them wet. They are very durable. As far as the fitting ranges go, you can see that the Naida PRs on the right are capable of accommodating hearing losses up to a moderately severe level. The Naida UPs, on the other hand, are capable of accommodating hearing losses up to a profound level. Now, I have to say, even if your high-frequency thresholds fit within these fitting ranges, it does not guarantee that you are actually going to be able to hit your prescriptive targets in these upper frequencies. I have to say that Phonak is not necessarily the best when it comes to the high-frequency amplification of their power and ultra power hearing aids. In some cases, you can actually get more high frequency gain using a smaller size receiver than you can with a really large receiver. That being said, a lot of individuals with a profound level of hearing loss don't even have any usable hearing in these upper frequency ranges, so hitting those prescriptive targets might not even be important to you. That is definitely a conversation you need to have with your hearing care professional. Another conversation that you should have with your hearing care professional is whether or not they're going to perform real ear measurement on you. Of course, real ear measurement can and should be used to verify that you are receiving enough high frequency amplification with your hearing aids, especially if you have a severe to profound hearing loss. If you are not familiar with real ear measurement, I highly recommend that you check out this video that I will link in the description because it is the only way to ensure that your hearing aids are programmed correctly to your hearing loss prescription, which will make sure that you receive the full amount of benefit with them. Both the PRs and the UPs come in four different technology levels. You have the top tier L90s, the second 
second tier L70s, the third tier L50s, and the fourth tier L30s. Each time you drop down in technology level, it takes features and customizations away from your hearing care professional who is optimizing the performance of those devices for you. So my recommendation for everyone is very similar. You should be going with the highest level of technology that you can reasonably afford. And if you cannot afford it, you should be dropping down to a technology level that you can afford. And then it is the job of your hearing care professional to maximize the performance of those devices. As far as your color options go, you basically get all of the standard colors that you've always had with the Naida hearing aids. You do not unfortunately get the really cool colors that Phonak just came out with on their Audeo line. This includes the new precious pink color, the electric green color, and the Caribbean pirate color. However, when it comes to the technology of the Naida Lumity hearing aids, you do get all of the same great features that you have inside of the Audeo Lumity lineup. This includes AutoSense OS 5.0, Bluetooth connectivity, and smart speech technology, which includes the new Stereo Zoom 2.0 feature and the speech sensor feature. AutoSense OS 5.0 might be one of the best features on the market. This is because it allows these hearing aids to identify what your environments are and switch your hearing aids into program settings that are specific to that environment without you having to worry about a thing. For instance, if you go from a quiet room and you decide you want to go out to dinner, you end up getting into your car, your hearing aid will switch you into a speech and car program, and then when you get into the restaurant, the hearing aid will switch you into a speech and noise or speech and loud noise program. And each one of these programs can be custom set up by your hearing care professional to maximize your performance in all of these different situations. AutoSense OS 5.0 also allows your hearing care professional to optimize your streaming settings better than any other hearing aid manufacturer on the market. So if streaming music, videos like this one, or audiobooks or podcasts is really important to you and having good sound quality is important to you when doing so, then using AutoSense OS 5.0 can really make that better. Now I should mention that the top tier Naida L90s will give you more of these custom program settings inside of AutoSense OS 5.0 and each time you drop down in technology levels, it takes those automatic programs away. This feature alone, in my mind, is justification enough to go at the highest level of technology. Now for those of you out there who really want to know the price of these hearing aids, I have to say that I really don't know because the price is dependent on a lot of factors including where you live, what technology level you go with, what services are included in your hearing aid purchase, and what the quality of those services are. When you include all of these variables, you could easily go from a price point of around $1,000 per hearing aid up to $4,000 per hearing aid or even more. Now this stands true for both the PR and the UP hearing aids, but there are a few differences between these two devices that I should cover. Because the Naida Lumity PR is a rechargeable hearing aid, it has a onboard motion sensor that allows you to have something called motion sensor hearing and tap controls. Motion sensor hearing allows the hearing aid to identify whether or not you're moving or if you are stationary. If you are moving, it tends to keep the microphone directionality open, so if you're walking next to somebody, you can still hear them. However, if you're in a complex listening situation and you're more stationary, like sitting down at a table, it will start to take those microphones and shift them into the forward position so you can better hear the person that you're talking to at that table. Now the tap control feature I think is my mother's favorite feature still because this allows her to double tap her ear to answer phone calls and it allows her to double tap her ear to pause and resume streaming. This is very convenient if you don't want to have to search for the push button or if you don't want to actually get your phone out. Tap control will also let you activate your voice assistant but I can tell you this 100% of my patients that I've tried this on do not like it because sometimes they'll be scratching their head or they'll be putting on a pair of glasses and all of a sudden Siri will come on and they have to get Siri to go away. What I'm saying is you can try it but you might not like it and if you don't like it that's okay it can be shut off. As far as Bluetooth streaming is concerned they use Bluetooth Classic which is really nice from a connectivity standpoint because it allows you to connect up to virtually any type of device. I'm talking smartphones, dumb phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, whatever. If it has Bluetooth Classic, you can pretty much pair up to it, and you can pair with up to eight different devices with two concurrent connections at the exact same time. And it doesn't matter whether or not it's an Android device or an Apple device, Bluetooth Classic works the same in all of them. This Bluetooth wireless capability also allows you to pair your Naida Lumity hearing aids with the My Phonak app. Now I have to give props to Phonak for making consistent updates to their My Phonak hearing aid app. It may not have a ton of positive reviews in the App Store, but trust me, they are making 
strides in improving this app as time goes on. The app will allow you to do a variety of different things, including using the volume slider to increase or decrease volume, change between different programs that either your hearing care professional has set up for you or that you've customized yourself. If you are going to go in and customize your program settings, you can use a three band equalizer to do so. You also have the ability to increase or decrease noise reduction, which can take out steady state noise in your environment. You can use speech focus to control which direction you want your hearing aid microphones to pick up sound from. And you can use compression settings to either increase soft sounds or decrease loud sounds. You can also initiate a remote care session with your hearing care professional so they can make programming adjustments to your hearing aids directly through the app. Now, as much as I love Bluetooth Classic from a stability standpoint and from a sound quality standpoint, there is one flaw that we see with the Phonak hearing aids that use Bluetooth Classic, and that is when you're doing phone calls. Now, don't get me wrong, we can customize the audio of a phone call so it sounds fantastic for you, but your voice has to travel to the microphones behind your ears to be sent off to the person on the other end of the line. Now that might not seem like a really big deal, but if you don't have a very loud voice, it's hard for your voice to actually get into that microphone. On the other hand, if you go into a background noise situation, you're gonna be able to hear the person talking to you fine, but they're not gonna be able to hear you very well because of all of that noise. The problem that I have with this is that Phonak does not give you the option to switch back to your smartphone so you can talk into that microphone. You only have the option of talking through the hearing aid. Now I have to say that there is a solution to overcome this problem, but it will cost you more money. The Roger On version 2 has a new headset mode that would allow you to plug the Roger On directly into your smartphone and turn that into the microphone while you're still streaming audio into both of your hearing aids. Now, if you want to learn more about this feature and all of the other features that the Roger On version 2 is capable of, I do have a full review that I will link down in the description for you as well. I should also say that yes, this will cost you more money, but if you're the type of individual who needs a Naida hearing aid, Aid, using a Roger accessory along with that Naida hearing aid will substantially improve your performance. Now, if you do not want to get a Roger device or you cannot afford a Roger device, you can still use other accessories that are compatible with the Naida Lumity hearing aids, including the TV connector if you want to send the audio directly from your TV into both of your ears. And I have to say, this is by far the most popular accessory that I have ever dispensed inside of my clinic, as well as the partner microphone, which is just a small little microphone that you can clip onto the the shirt of the person that you want to hear better in a background noise environment, and it will send their voice directly into both of your hearing aids as well. All right, let's talk about this new smart speech technology that we first saw with the Audeo Lumity line of devices and how this smart speech technology has now worked its way into the Naida line. Essentially, smart speech technology is a combination of seven different features. But of these seven different features, you have six of them that have worked their way into the Naida PR and five of them that have worked their way into the the Naida UP devices. So let's quickly run through all of them. They include Stereo Zoom 2.0, which improves speech understanding by 16% in noisy situations. Speech Sensor, which improves speech understanding by up to 15% when that speech is from your sides or behind you. Speech Enhancer, that improves speech intelligibility by 23% if someone is at a distance of up to four meters. And improves speech intelligibility by 18% if someone is in a different room from you. Dynamic Noise Cancellation uses the directional microphones and spatial noise cancellation to reduce background noise and increase auditory comfort. It also includes the Roger technology like the Roger On, Roger Select, and Roger Table Mic 2 and it has motion sensor hearing inside of the Naida Lumity PR devices, but not the Lumity UP devices. And the seventh smart speech feature that neither one of these Naida devices have is the Activent receiver for obvious reasons. The addition of Stereo Zoom 2.0 and speech sensor are the main reasons why the Naida Lumity hearing aids are better than the Naida Paradise hearing aids. And that stands true for both the Naida Lumity UP and PR devices. But there is one other feature that is available for the PR devices that is not available for the UPs, and that is a cross transmitter. The new Lumity Cross R transmitter is actually compatible with the new Naida Lumity PR. Now I know that this will shock you, but I also have a detailed review of the Lumity Cross R transmitter. If you'd like to check that out, I will have that in the description as well. Now before you go and start thinking that the Naida PR is better than the UP, 
You also have to keep in mind that the UP is the only version of this Naida hearing aid that has a telecoil still. Of course, for those of you familiar with telecoils, they give you wireless access to a public venue if that public venue happens to have a hearing loop installed. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it. If you are someone who is not super excited about using a BTE that uses a size 13 tube that comes down into an acrylic or a silicone ear mold, you could still technically use an Audeo Lumity hearing aid. That's right, if you are someone who's actually looking for a certain power level of a hearing aid and you don't care if it's a receiver in canal or a behind the ear device, you can technically get an ultra power receiver embedded into an ear mold for an Audeo Lumity hearing aid, as well as a power receiver embedded into an ear mold to do the same thing. In some cases, it may make even more sense to go with an Audeo Lumity hearing aid using a power or ultra power receiver than it will be to go with a Naida Lumity hearing aid. But that is a discussion for your hearing care professional. Do not take my recommendation on that because I don't know your full situation. Either way, if you are looking for a rock solid pair of behind the ear hearing aids that might be some of the best behind the ear hearing aids on the market right now, you really should consider the Phonak Naida Lumity PR and UP hearing aids.